Hello everyone, um, it was just a little finale chat with you all, um, thank you everyone for participating and all the encouragement, especially to Tess, um, she's been the first person really to get close to me on this, um, she has druids in her family so that makes sense, um, but thanks to all of you really, um, I do apologise I suppose to some of you for flooding your pages if you're not that interested but you know, I had good reason, so like I said, personal responsibility, you know, block me if you didn't like it, I, 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 you know, I'm happy to annoy a few people for the greater good, you know, sometimes the end justifies the means, really, um, so there you go, um, I've, I've done this because a few of you are probably a little bit worried about me, you know, given Princess Diana and Marilyn and all the other celebrities that I pointed out, um, have come to a sad end for pointing out some of the things I've pointed out today well over the last few days really but I've always enjoyed traveling so and I've got friends in all over the world so um, I can go wherever really and if the money comes in then um, I can just fulfill my dreams really of being a traveling gypsy <laughs> um, and make sure I see my children you know I mean I have a hope and a dream that their um, grandmother um, in Turkey, in a in quite a, a, a sort of economically poor area in Turkey, um, would homeschool them because I think she could teach them everything they needed to know, and I could make sure that I visited them regularly um, because I love it there. I feel very at home, apart from the toilets, squatting over a hole in the ground. wasn't very comfortable when I was pregnant. Well, that's a whole other story, anyway. You know, especially the fact that it was right behind the flipping veranda where the whole flipping family congregate with no window for closing sound <laughs> bad when you got diarrhea sorry too much information i am a bit of an oversharer as you've probably gathered um but yeah i mean my view is that it's not about the money i mean they've got a massive family out there and i really want them to learn turkish and um their mum, their grandmother's a great cook. I mean, she she came to stay with me for about two and a half months, and she's one of the loveliest women I've ever met. Really, from the moment I met her, she um, she was really lovely to me, and very strong woman indeed. I mean, in both respects. Because I'll tell you a little story about um, Gokan's mother. I thought I'd help her out with some blankets one day, and. Um, took them out of the cupboard and on some shoulders and I fell to the ground and she just started laughing at me because she's proper strong really strong and physically and emotionally because she raised five children pretty much single-handedly while Gokan's father worked on the ships um, Gokan himself um, left home quite young um, didn't have the benefit of her influence and I think that shows really sadly um, but, you know, maybe we can heal our relationship in time, but it's going to take a long time, I'm afraid. Um, I need some mediation there. Um, I've been very unhappy with the way I've been treated, um, I'm afraid. And I think um, the process here has been about putting the shame back exactly where it belongs and highlighting the issues that I've seen firsthand for people. Um, I just want to remind everyone, um, never any violence in my name, ever, because... Um, I've got a lot of sympathy with what's going on in Syria. Um, any any circumstance where anyone is suffering, you know, um, is never a good situation ever, anywhere in the world, you know. Um, and the shamans um, have always been um, the peacemakers and the artists and um, universal, and that's why they. Um, relate to all of the minority um, tribes right back to when um, it's how black slavery started um, from the um, tribes in the forests that then um, had their homelands taken away what I learned about the aboriginals is it was very important to them to go back to the birthplace of their ancestors so it was very pointless to them that um, the Australian government um, gave them council housing in areas that meant nothing to them. They, they are the epitome of, you know, money doesn't matter. It's about your homeland and a um, lot of drug problems with the Aboriginals. Um, they feel very displaced, as do a lot of minority groups. Um, 
it dates right back to your ancestors. That's why your surnames are important. You know, check out your ancestry. You know, um, all there's a lot of the, the sort of tribes, the jungle tribes that, that used to beat the drums and summon up the spirits, earth, wind and fire. Compass is very important. You know, your auspicious directions in life. Um, unsurprisingly, um, I'm very attracted to Weymouth. So um, I'd, I'd like sort of a little bit of a recluse. I've got a dream of a cottage with collie dogs and an art studio and somewhere out in the uh, countryside, do a Banksy. Might not even be there at the party, you never know. If I am, I might be in disguise. I don't like too much attention, really. Um, believe it or not, very confusing, the sevens. You never know what you're going to get in life. Um, but anyway, just a big shout out to Whitnash Primary School. Um, very nice people there. Um, now, I'm going to just make an apology to the professionals for the swearing, but you know what? You know, the most honest people in the world have got the filthiest mouths. For very good reason. I have to say, I swear a great deal these days. After everything I've been through, it helps me get the rage out. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and this is for Ben Westwood. The earth will tilt on its axis. You know what that means. Neil, you know what that means. And I think I'm going to end on this one, this little darling. Fingers of judgment. Just a dyslexic repeat. And this is me just doing dress up ready for the full moon parties in Goa that I hope to attend. Um, Alison Sykes, I might be seeing you. She's worked, she's lived in India for um, many, many years. And I've been looking forward to going back to India. Pushka, Kerala. Oh, I loved it in India, you know, wonderful place. That's the thing about travellers, you know, it opens your mind and you see cultures. You, you don't really get a sense of who you are till you, you're in a, a circumstance where you're the foreigner. When I was in India, God, I went to places where they'd never seen a white person. Go to Brixton, sit on a bucket bus in Brixton. That'll give you an experience in life turn things on its head a little bit you'll you'll know what it's like to be a minority you, you know feel it you just just need to walk a mile in somebody else's shoes to really get it and I've walked in many many different pairs of shoes and I'm going to walk in many many different wigs as well in future you never know what you're going to get I'm a chameleon anyway yeah so thanks to Whitnash Primary and I'm hoping that that um things are going to start going my way finally um, and it just goes to show what you can achieve in a few days. Um, I've been going through this journey for a good two years now. And I might have just solved my problems in four days. I wonder how much money that would save the taxpayers. Do it yourself, ladies. Want something done properly, do it yourself. And that is the power of the internet and interconnectedness and the Celestine Prophecy, Nine Insights. And don't forget www.hooligansoup.com. That woman is a creative, one-woman genius band. She's been my inspiration and my rock steady Eddie, my elephant. And then, and with and what I'm going to be doing with the new website is um, almost like a sort of exchange system, I suppose, of creatives, um, where you can exchange in rather than money. Um, I don't know acts of kindness. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through properly yet. Um, maybe some of you can come up with some ideas. It'll be like a bit of a collaboration, really, because that's the whole idea of what I'm doing. It's it's not about me. It's about bringing communities together and and empowering people um, and 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 really getting them to see their own strength. It's not about the education that you've received. In fact, some of the smartest people in the world haven't got an education. Look at Plan B, Eminem, geniuses. I think I've pointed out on the dyslexic thing, you know. But thank you, a uh, big shout out to Joseph Coles Kirby, who's given me the inspiration, one of my spirit guides. Look him up, and if anyone can get me a copy of his book, listen, I've got something to say. I like his wife, Mary Nee Coles. She's um, a social campaigner as well, and there's this woman called Ida who campaigned for the Aboriginals. Um, anyway, it'll all be on the new new page. They, they just come to me as and when. Tupac Shakur, yeah, very nice man. Anyway, lights are going out, so it's time to go. Um, law of the universe and all that take care, bye